Barry. Barry, I've been trying to get you all day. Must be something wrong with the switchboard, huh? Well, that's one nice thing about switchboards. When you don't want to talk to anyone, you just pull out the plug. Oh, I don't get it. Since when did you start pulling plugs on the groom? If you're a groom, you're somebody else's, not mine. Hey, wait a minute. Remember me? I'm the fellow you're going to marry tonight. Oh, no, you're not. This time I'm postponing the wedding. Permanently. Whoa, whoa, now what goes on here? This calls for a little explaining. I think you might do a little explaining. Such as what? Such as why Nicky wouldn't let me in this morning when I came up to surprise you. <laughs> you mean you came up and, and Nicky wouldn't let you in? Why, he never even told me. Oh, you can't laugh your way out of this. Now look, Denny, I've always been fair with you. I didn't mind when you are out of work because I, I knew you were trying. I even put up with having our wedding postponed four times. But there's one thing I won't stand for. No woman would. And that's what happened this, this morning. Oh, honey, you shouldn't get burned up about a little thing like that. Little thing? Little thing? Do you think I enjoyed standing outside your door on my wedding day listening to you talk, baby talk to that, that woman? Oh, oh, the old green-eyed monster, huh? You know you look cute when you're jealous, I'm honey. not jealous. I'm through, that's all. Come on, now, you're going along with me. I want you to meet somebody. I'm not going any place with you ever again. Ever. Hello, Mary. Oh, good evening. Your suit looks much better since you had it pressed. Well, I had to say something. Yeah, you think a great excuse as you do. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. But you told me not to let anybody in. Anybody? Well, Mary's not anybody. She's everybody. She can come up here anytime she wants, and don't you forget it. You know I think Mary's the most wonderful girl in the world. Why, if you had any idea at all of the way I feel about it... What's her... playing here next week? Uh, if you'll excuse me, now I'll go to work. <laughs> when this sun goes in, I go out. <laughs> oh, oh. It's a great fella. Do anything in the world for me. And do it wrong. Well, I'm waiting. Yes. Honey, I have a confession to make to you. I've got to tell you sooner or later. Might as well be now. I know you're big enough to understand when I tell you that someone else has come into my life. Now I want you to meet the person you heard me talking to this morning. Ah! Oh, Danny. A baby. You guessed it the first time. What's it doing here? Well, I'll tell you all about it later. I'm just doing a favor for somebody. Now, if you ask me in a real nice way, I, I might forgive you. Oh, Denny. Hello, honey. Oh, isn't he sweet? Look at these dear little hands. Oh, the size of the fingernails, that's what gets me. Did you ever see anything as small as that? Aren't you the man that didn't like babies? Well, yes, there uh, might be a lot of babies I wouldn't like. You can't tell, it's just like you, you meet a lot of people. Some you like and some you don't. This one I like, that's all. Oh, Denon, I wonder if we'll ever have it. I mean, I hope all our plans work out. Work out? Listen, honey, if I have my way, we'd have a... Well, there's lots of things I'd like you to have when the brakes come our way. You know, for a while, I thought maybe you didn't want to have it. Some people have funny ideas about things, don't they? Oh, yeah, but they get over them, too. Don't you think one baby gets kind of lonesome? Of course. They want company like everybody else. That's what I thought. You see, if I ever decide to have kids, I'm going to have them all in a bunch. Well, there is something new under the sun after all. I imagine this is the first time a baby ever postponed a wedding. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We'd make a pretty group, wouldn't we, with the best man holding him in his arms? <laughs> Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Oh, no, you'll never get him to sleep that way. Oh, yes, I will. Now, if you want a lesson on how to put a baby to sleep, I'll show you. There we are. Come on. There we go. You can listen, too, if you want to, but you're supposed to stay away. Would you listen to a story? The most amazing story that you've ever heard. It concerns a certain romance 
a most amazing romance. You'll have to take my word. It may sound unreal to you, but it's absolutely true. I know an angel on the east side of heaven who lives in a third-story room. We meet on a rooftop and dream in the dark when the lights of New York are in blue. All through the daytime, it's the same old Manhattan. But evening again sets me free. Then I turn off Broadway to the east side of heaven. Where an angel waits for me.